I think he wants you. <laughs> Jake's very special. He's always like doing things his own way. Where are you guys applying? Oh boy. Even if we could afford it, it's a private school. Even what I want for Jake, I, I know we've always said we're not those parents, but well, I can't I afford know, to be. Maybe the numbers are ridiculous. You have to remember, everybody wants diversity. Why not talk a little about his gender expansive play? You want him to be somewhere he can thrive, right? You really don't think it's weird? I mean, he does like to play dress up. That's not news. Yeah, he likes fairy tales, but maybe that's not the most critical thing worth mentioning. He asked why boys can't wear skirts. I don't want to send him off to kindergarten labeled. He's only four. What if he starts thinking there's something wrong with him? Where is my favorite grandson? I haven't heard from you in over a week. Can't push, push, push. Gotta let go, right? In a few weeks, we'll visit some new schools, and you should just be yourself. And that's all that matters, okay? So it's no big deal at all. Love is a constant friend. I'd like to show you something. There were one or two incidents in class. <laughs> and love is a hand to lend. Kindergarten, it's so hard for a child, you know? Who would you what? <laughs> There's nothing more. You two have some choices to make here. Maybe we should bring him to see someone. Maybe the problem is that we started pushing him into this role. You're the one buying him every princess DVD you can get your hands on, and then freaking out when people start to notice. Is it any wonder he's confused? Nothing more, nothing more. Forget everything you thought you knew before. We try so hard to protect them, but. It's never gonna be easy to really see people, especially the ones we love.